Hello and good morning. Recently made my first purchase using Ethereum. I bought some Trial of the Gods cards on IMX. I've seen on Reddit a few people have faced some issues with high gas fees or failed transactions, even transactions getting stuck and being unsure of how to speed them up. So I'm just making a quick video, but well, hopefully it'll be quick. Just to highlight why these happen and hopefully show you how to avoid them. So before I go on to IMX and show you how to put your Ethereum from MetaMask onto IMX, I'm just going to highlight a few things I think you should know. So if you're just interested in how to put your money onto IMX and make a purchase, feel free to skip into this video. But I'll try and keep these very quick. The fee that you set, it's calculated using GUI. And all that is, it's a fraction of Ethereum. So as you can see here on screen, it's... 10 to the power of 9 is a very small fraction of Ethereum. And then the fee is calculated as your gas limit times your gas price. If you're interested, you probably don't even need to know that, but it's handy to know if you're trying to work it out yourself. So when you're on IMX and you're doing a transaction, you get two figures come up. You've got to set a gas price and a gas limit. So I'll show you, I'll tell you what gas price is and then your gas limit. Before I do so, it's handy to use something called a block explorer to find out how much to set them as first. So the gas price, as you can see here on screen, the average is 21 guay, the low is 15 and the high is 28. On the Ethereum blockchain, the people who are willing to pay more for their gas price get prioritised. So if you set it too low, then it might take a very, very long time to go through. And if you set it like ridiculously low it may just never get around to getting processed so if you ever face that issue you can just increase the gas price to speed it up and then eventually it'll go through so if you do ever set it too low it's not something to worry about you're not going to lose out it'll just get stuck while it's waiting to be processed so if it does and you're on metamask they'll give you an option on there to um, speed it up which is just increase the price so with that out the way we can go on to imx so when you're on the marketplace you just need to connect your wallet which mine is i use metamask and it's the one the gods and chain team recommends simply because it's integrated in the browser it's pretty simple once you've uh, signed in so i've uh, got like next to no ethereum in the account because i've bought some uh proud of the gods cards but all we're going to do is we're going to select the one that we want to use which is this account it's already ticked if you had a different account just go ahead and tick your other account there your other address and all you do is just click next and now we have a signature request so you just need to authorize this here and as you as we've just been the one to uh, request it we know it's come from us so we can go ahead and sign that and just authorize it accept it whatever word you want to use so here we can see it's a signature request we are the one that made it from immutable so we can go ahead and sign that it's okay and there we go so we've now connected our wallet to the marketplace and then you could go ahead and try and purchase some cards but first you need to get your ethereum from metamask onto imx so if we just go into inventory here we can see we have an option up at the top to deposit some eth I've got a little bit left over from my recent purchases, but unfortunately it's not enough to get anything with. So just go ahead and click on deposit your ETH here. And you can see this is how much was in my wallet and that's how much is on IMX. If you haven't made a purchase before, that'll just be zero. So here we need to set an ETH amount. If we were to go ahead and put all this in, which is very little, I know, but for the sake of this little tutorial, if you put it all in, then you're going to have none left over for the transaction fee. So it's just going to keep saying insufficient funds. So you need to have an idea of how much the fee is going to cost first. And then sort of deduct that from how much you're going to be transferring over. So we're just going to go ahead and just make a guess at this right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that amount in. So we're going to have 0 0.003 left over for the fee here just to show you how it would work so we're just going to go ahead and select how much you want to deposit and click continue it'll come up with this little pop up here so we just go ahead and confirm that again we're the one that made the request so we can go ahead and sign that
So here we see it says insufficient funds because the gas fee here seems quite high. $65, it's certainly not the amount I want to be paying for this little transaction. So what we can go ahead and do is edit this transaction fee here. It's important to note though, this fee isn't set by IMX at all. This is just how much will go to the miners for processing the transaction. I should probably go ahead and throw this in here as a disclaimer. This is not financial advice and the golden rule in crypto is never put more money in than you're willing to lose. I'll show you why. I've had a failed transaction and lost a little bit of Ethereum in, in the gas fee. I'll talk about that in a moment when I go into telling you what the gas limit is. So here you have three options. You've got the slow, average and fast. But even them, they're pretty high. That's a lot more than is even in my account. I'm not going to go and pick any of these. I'm going to go into the advanced setting here. And now we have two options. Gas price, as you can see it's here in grey and the gas limit. So 50, that seems pretty high. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go on a block explorer. We can see that the average is 16 gray. So the 50 that was on MetaMask was very, very high. So we don't need to go that high, we can drop it down. So if you're willing to wait five minutes, roughly for it to go through, you can put it at 20. So that's gonna bring the price down a significant amount here. So there we have 20. Now it does say insufficient balance because here you can see it's still a very high amount and that gas limit is very high. So let's talk about gas limit. The gas limit is how much you're actually willing to spend for the transaction to go through. But just think of it as kind of like putting fuel in your car. Say you're going from one place to another. If you don't put enough fuel in your car, you're going to get maybe halfway, run out of fuel and you're not going to get to your destination. So you're going to have to go back and put even more in. So all that money you just spent trying to go from one place to another, you've just lost. And that's the way it works in the Ethereum um, transaction. If a transaction fails, all that um, ETH you've spent on the transaction to go through and it fails, you lose. It's already gone to the miner because they tried to um, they tried to make the transaction for you, but it failed. So they still get their mining fee and you lose out. You kind of got to be careful with this one, but it's not too much of a problem. All it is is if you're transferring from one wallet to another, you're using just Ethereum. You can actually set that fairly low at 2100, I believe. I think that's the lowest for it. And that way it'd go very, very cheap. And there you can see it would only be like $2. But when you're using a token, say ERC20721 or any other layer two solutions, it needs a little bit more um, resources to put through. So when I made the transaction, I just set it at 100,000. And here we can see it is $6 roughly at this to go through. So already we've got the transaction fee down from $65 down to six, which is a big jump, right? Now, unfortunately I've not got enough Ethereum in my wallet to actually go ahead and click save to go through. But that's all you would do. You just change these, use your block explorer to sort of figure out how much is the average at the moment, and then it'd go through. Now, if you set the gas price too low, MetaMask is pretty awesome for this. They'll have a little, um, it'll be in a little blue box somewhere on the bottom here, and it'll say speed up. And all that will do is just allow you to increase the gas price to let it go through. So if you ever set the gas price too low, don't panic. It's if you set the gas limit too low that you'll get a failed transaction and you would lose out on the, you know, $6 worth of Ethereum. This is my MetaMask address here. So if we scroll down a little bit, I was trying to mess around with my transactions here because I was setting the gas price high to make the transaction go through as fast as possible but I was set the limit to the minimum because I forgot it wasn't just Ethereum to Ethereum it was going to be a token so it needed more of a gas limit and that's why it just kept running out and it failed a couple of times and I was just yeah it was just something I was overlooking 
So yeah, here you can see the transaction fee went for it 0.0024 Ethereum, which was higher than I wanted because I, um, yeah, I spent like, quite a long time figuring out why these failed and I've run that time. I wanted to get out to do some things and get my cars ready for the weekend. But even this here was less than $10, so it is a fraction of what the fee would have been anyway. And yeah, so I think I've covered the basics of how it works, how to figure out the gas price and the gas limit. However, I kind of just didn't really think about how I was going to word this I just started rambling on a little bit so if I've maybe missed something out or you need a little bit of clarification just drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out there and I hope this has been somewhat educational